and gentlemen. Good day, viewers, wherever you're watching us from. This is a live outside broadcast of the second Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council Award taking place here at the State, State House Conference Center, the Old Banquet Hall here in Abuja. My name is Jide Onifade, and on behalf of the management of the Nigerian Television Authority and the outside broadcasting crew, I welcome you once again. The Secretary of the Government of the Federation, the Head of Service, members of the Federal Executive Council, Honorable Commissioners here present, PEBEC members, members of the Diplomatic Corps, heads of agencies, CEOs and captains of industry, members of the press, and highly esteemed ladies and gentlemen, we bid you a very fine welcome to the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council Awards for 2019. It's good to have you with us. Please put your hands together for yourselves. This is the second oh, sorry, Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council Award. The first Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council Award was at on December 5th, 2017, here at the Banquet Hall. The award was organized to recognize individuals as well as the ministries, departments, and agencies whose relentless support towards the federal government's ease of doing business initiative has improved the Nigerian business climate. The second award will be another opportunity to recognize individuals, the ministries, departments, and agencies, and private sector players that have contributed to the business climate reforms of the Dwari administration. Very brief, brisk, straight to the point. Straight to the point. They warned us that if we joke too much, that we will be allowed to MC again, but it might not be in Nigeria. <laughs> so we want you to help our careers. To further press the matter, the office of the vice president also sent us a message explaining that he's been in FEC all day and he has other matters as well to attend to today. They have granted us very graciously one hour, 30 minutes, of which we do not plan to overshoot. So one hour, 30 minutes is our task. To that end, I have a special request, ladies and gentlemen, all speakers, if you would be so kind as to make all your speeches extremely brief as is decently possible, uh, we would be grateful. Also, because of that, we will not be receiving speeches from any of our award recipients. Once more, all speakers, please make your speeches brief and all award recipients, um, we appreciate you, though we will not be receiving a speech from you today. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for yourselves one more time. I know you're going to work with me to ensure that I have a career after today. Yes, indeed. Now, tonight is a very special night. Despite the brevity of time, we cannot undermine the importance of what we're doing this evening. Now, we understand that today is a night to appreciate and celebrate ministries, departments, agencies, subnationals, arms of government who have been instrumental to the successful implementation of the Enabling envir Business Environment Project. And now tonight, we have carefully selected the nominees, we have carefully adjudged the winners, but we must say before we start that everyone who has been nominated tonight is indeed a winner. And on behalf of Pebec, would like to thank you very, very much for being a part of our success story. Please give yourselves a round of applause. We are very grateful. We appreciate you. But as we know, there can only be one winner. And tonight, we will be celebrating and honoring agencies, like we mentioned, who MDAs that have outshone in the past year as to helping to implement successfully this cause. Now, to kickstart tonight, we will be welcoming to the podium a woman who is the Executive Secretary of Pebec and the Coordinator of the Secretariat. She's a fine Nigerian woman. I look at her and I'm proud to be a woman, proud to be Nigerian. She is Dr. Jumoke Oduwale. Please let me make her welcome to the podium. Well, Dr. Jumoke Uluwale, she's the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Industry, Trade and Investment. She's also the Secretary like to Pebec. The opportunity arises for us all to take a moment to look back. 
in this case to a period in time over three years ago when from ideation an intervention was birthed to transform the Nigerian business climate in order to enable our undisputed economic potential to thrive. Your Excellency, the Vice President and Chair of the Enabling Business Environment Council, distinguished senators and honorable members of the 8th National Assembly, my Lord Justices, Excellencies from state governments here present, Honorable Ministers, in particular, the Vice Chair of the PEBEC, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, and other PEBEC members present, permanent secretaries and heads of agency, captains of industry, our vibrant and supportive private sector and civil society stakeholders, the diplomatic corps and partners of Nigeria, members of the media, all friends of the PEBEC and of the Enabling Business Environment Secretariat. We are here this evening to honor and celebrate our committed and passionate reform champions in ministries, departments, and agencies from the federal government, as well as across state lines to our subnational reform champions and collaborators across legislative and judicial arms of government. The journey to an attractive Nigerian economy as articulated under the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan is being implemented through the mandate of the PEBEC to reduce bureaucratic bottlenecks and improve perceptions about the Nigerian market in both domestic and international spheres. Along the way, we have had our victories and our challenges. We have had heated debates changed our perspectives and shared successes. And through it all, the journey has been fueled by truly unprecedented levels of collaboration across the board. The men and women being recognized and celebrated here tonight have had the humility to learn, the courage to change, and the audacity to strive to deliver real impact under sometimes tough conditions. Certainly, we are not yet where we want to be. Yet, the council felt we should not be so focused on the destination that we forget to show our appreciation along the way. It is therefore my singular honor to welcome you all to the second PEBEC Awards as we come together to celebrate those who are the gold in our green. Ladies and gentlemen, have an enjoyable evening. Thank you. Please put your hands together for her one more time. You know, this, is a, this night is about appreciation. So when we're clapping for people, you've got to do it with, you know, like your heart, like you mean it and appreciate them. I don't want you clapping for people like they stole your wife or your children. You know, you've got to do this with some love. Let's try that one more time. Let's appreciate the PEBEC secretary, Dr. J, as we fondly call her. You know, Ike, talking about appreciating and being proud, PEBEC has made us proud in Nigeria. When we talk about enabling a business environment, we must talk about the work that has gone into this and every reform, reformer who is here tonight to have enabled us achieve this very successfully. Indeed. And the next gentleman we're going to introduce is um, quite crucial to all the reforms that we are speaking about tonight. He is uh, Vice Chair at PEBEC, and he's also the Honorable Minister for, Minister for Industry, Trade, and Investment. Please join us and welcome Dr. Okechuku Enelaba as he comes to give a few words. Keep clapping until he gets here. I want you to clap like you've seen your face. Well, Dr. So Okechuku Enelaba is the Honorable Minister for Industry, Trade, and Investment. He's the Vice Chairman of the Council. So let's listen to him as he gives us. I mean, the genesis uh, of... The display said, are we celebrating a FIFA event or, you know, I said, well, this is, this is greater than FIFA. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, Your Excellency's Executive Governors present. Your Excellency's um, 
distinguished senators and honorable members of the National Assembly, your excellencies and my lords justices, your excellencies, honorable ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today is, tonight is not a night for speeches but for recognition of people who have actually worked hard for us. So I'm going to keep my speech very short so that we can keep the space for recognition much um, wider and give honor to whom honor is due. Let me join our coordinator, coordinator. of EBIS and our very own Dr. Jimoko Duwale in welcoming you all to tonight's award ceremony, which is another landmark in our journey to creating an enabling environment for businesses and investments in Nigeria. Today's event offers an opportunity to reminisce over the journey from the time President Muhammadu Buhari inaugurated the council under the inspirational leadership of His Excellency Vice and the Vice President, Professor Yemi Ushibajo, our charge could be summed up simply in the President's own words, make Nigeria one of the most attractive places for conducting business and attracting investment globally. A goal as big and audacious as this only has the chance of becoming reality if we galvanize all stakeholders to work together with a common purpose. All the stakeholder groups represented here, the public service, people from the executive, the judiciary, the legislative, national and state, and of course the private sector, have come together in total agreement with the popular African proverb that it takes a village to raise a child. Today, we have achieved noticeable changes and improvements that we can all be pleased and proud of. We have shortened the time required for procedures, many of the administrative procedures, and eliminated unnecessary bureaucracy in several instances and cases, and reduced the cost of services offered. We have started to change mindsets, and there is now a stronger belief that working together, the charge of the president will become a reality. Creating an enabling environment is an essential foundation for building the Nigeria we earnestly all desire. A country with abundant opportunities, significant job opportunities for our people, well-diversified economy, peace, and robust economic growth. This is why at the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade, and Investment, we believe that we should be known as the Ministry of Enabling Environment for Industry, Trade, and Investment. We have decided to build on the successful Pebec partnership principles to deliver strong results for all Nigerians. Our industrialization agenda, uh, the vision for our industrialization agenda is one for Nigeria to be the preeminent manufacturing hub in sub-Saharan Africa and a major exporter of made in Nigeria goods and services regionally and globally. Under the supervision of His, of the, of His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, we're implementing project made in Nigeria for exports as a presidential special priority intervention using special economic zones to accelerate our industrialization efforts. Our objectives are to boost manufacturing, manufacturing's share of GDP to 20%, generate $30 billion in annual export earnings, and create 1.5 million, 1 million direct jobs. And I might add that for every direct job you create, you have up to two to seven times more indirect jobs that follow. We have made some progress towards achieving these ambitious objectives. These include attracting top class financiers to partner with us. Many of you will be aware that on February 8th, the president hosted a signing ceremony where we had present people like Afri Afri Africa Exim Bank, the Bank of Industry, the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, African Development Bank, and the African Finance Corporation, who have all indicated their commitment to work with us in this very ambitious and laudable project. We have also set up the Nigeria Special Economic Zone Investment Company as an investment vehicle for participating in public-private partnerships involving the federal government and these local and foreign institutional investors. This company will develop and invest in special economic zones all over the country offering advanced infrastructure and facilities at competitive costs. The company's initial projects include Enyimba Economic City in Abia State, Funtua Cotton Cluster in Katsina, and the Lakey Model Industrial Park 
in Lagos State. We have invited experienced special economic zone developers and operators to partner with us to upgrade the federal government owned free trade zones in Calabar and Kano and to offer first class standards of infrastructure and facilities. While we await the completion of the process of bringing these investors to the zones, the Federal Executive Council has approved the award of contracts in excess of 19 billion naira to kickstart the upgrade of both Calabar and Kano free trade zones. And work is currently ongoing. This is the highest amount of capital investment ever in the history of these zones. We have also allocated substantial funds to upgrade the capabilities and management and the systems of the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority to strengthen it as a regulator of special economic zones. Let me conclude by thanking you all once again for this mutually beneficial partnership to make Nigeria one of the easiest places to do business in the world. Even though there are limited numbers of people and organizations that will get awards tonight, we are all winners. I also want to appreciate the Enabling Business Environment Secretariat, EBIS, led by our very own Dr. Jimoko Duwale and her team for all the good work in coordinating this effort. As it is often stated, the reward for good work or hard work is more work. Together, let us deepen the reforms to make Nigeria one of the most attractive places for business and investment in the world. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, sir. Thank the you. Honorable Minister of Industry, Trades and Investment, Dr. Oke Enalama. Thank you very much, sir. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you. Like I can mention earlier on, tonight is a celebration. Tonight is a pat on the back for work well done. And sometimes it's all right to pat yourself and say, yes, we've actually done really well, as we have seen over the year that we have achieved a number of our objectives. And so in the spirit of celebration, we thought it was nice for us to bring someone to capture what's been going on and what's happening tonight in art. We know that art is viable business in Nigeria and it's part of the businesses that we look forward to seeing more attractive investment from around the world. Now to present an art piece very, very, in a very creative way, admirable skill and talent, he's a proud Nigerian young man your Excellency, sirs and mas, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please make very welcome to give a spoken word piece, Bash Amumeni. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellencies, uh, various honorable ministers, Your Excellency, the governor of Kaduna State and other governors seated, Your Excellencies, various uh, honorable ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My name is Basha Muneni. Uh, I like what the last speaker said, that we are all winners. And indeed, in Nigeria, we are all winners. So I like to tell that line, I work full-time as a banker, but I also work part-time as a poet. So I want to stand on what the last speaker said, that we are all winners. And I want to ask, is this the moment we've all been waiting for? For the heart of Africa to beat again. The sun rises from the east. The eagle takes flight. And I hear drum beats of promise sounding across the land. And I ask, is this the moment we've all been waiting for? To wake up at dawn without news of another bomb blast and bring back our girls' chant was a thing of the past. Where mothers can reconcile with their daughters and our sons do not run off to diaspora because the last news I heard a few days ago from Saudi Arabia was woeful and gloom. But yet I ask, is this the moment we've all been waiting for? That the wailings of sirens will sound so low we can all hear the voice of the streets. And we can walk at night without fear for a flight and enjoy the sanctity of worship places without the presence of armed men in plain sight and a defiance with the Creator's might. That our refinery's light will shine so bright, oiling the life of a nation's drive. And we go back to innocence, taking our place as Africa's pride. Where corruption is giving a fatal blow and the criteria for me being your friend had nothing to do with our tribes. 
that our gallant soldiers will serve with honor and be honored where love first was for this country and not the selfish self and getting a job in the civil service had nothing to do with our tribes and I wouldn't have to know one man or another man for me to reach my humble dreams. I ask, are this not the moments we've all been waiting for? That the Queen's yes men nodded to the puzzle of a Niger area is proof of belief. That we stood 58 years and counting is proof of triumph, the triumph of the Nigerian spirit. So history calls upon us in brevity, from Agui's junta to Balewa's exit, of a polarized knot and south of troops and boots, of pelted flesh smacking this disgust, of oil booms and price slumps, from democracy to military and back to democracy. Is this not the moment we've all been waiting for, where the hopes of our nation, once wrapped in the shroud of Amadou Bello's turban, Awolowa's rhetorics, and Azikiwe eloquence, will come alive this day in the full colors of a nation made of green, white, and green, I dare to challenge us. Let today, let this day be that moment you and I have been waiting for. Thank you. Indeed. It is the day that you and I have been waiting for. Thank you very much indeed, Buchi Amunini. Yeah, Bashir, I, I love that. That was, that was really good. Come on, put your hands together for him one more time. Mr. Amunini did a fantastic job. Honestly, to use poetry to speak to truth to power is, is quite, I think, the only thing I've ever really used poetry for is to toast babes. Um, the way you guys are quiet, I know you would never do that because you are honorable people. Too dignified. Too dignified. But just speaking about poetry, you know, even in politics, poetry is one of the most powerful tools. At a time in the United States where there was no social security, things were going wrong, they, they were suffering, and they, they were, there was animosity towards the government. They called on the president and said, Mr. President, um, the people in the country are upset with you. You know, forgive my American accent. You know, I'm a Nigerian boy. So uh, he said... Well, let me speak to them then. then. You know, they brought him out, and he came out. And you know, Americans are different from Nigerians. Nigerians, when they're upset with you, they know. They show you in their frown, like you guys are frowning right now. Um, but he came out, and they were clapping and screaming. And he stood there for one minute, received all the applause, and then started talking to them and said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to stay uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity and not security. I do not wish to be a citizen humbled and dogged by having the state look after me. I want to take a calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I prefer the challenges of life to a guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to a state of common utopia. I will never cower before any master nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid to ask the world boldly and say, this I have done. To that end, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And even Nigerians are clapping. See? <laughs> the power of poetry. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move into the meat of this evening. Remember, everyone we call out on this stage as an award recipient or a nominee is very special to us. They are moving our country forward in their own way. So please don't clap for them haphazardly. We want you to clap for them with a lot of gusto and might. It's time for our first award category. This award category is for Executive Order 1. Now, this was signed into law by His Excellency, the Vice President, when he sat as acting president. Uh, to ensure that there's transparency and ease of doing business in Nigeria. And you will find that these nominees have excelled at that. To help us present the award for Executive Order 1, please join us and welcome Mr. Fatai Folarin, who is the CEO of Deloitte, Nigeria, and regional leader, West Africa, as he takes center stage. This award is in recognition of the MDA, the highest transparency and efficiency compliance score on the Executive Order 1 report for 2018. The nominees are Oil and Gas Free Zone Africa, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And the winner... 
Free Zone Authority. Congratulations, Oil and Gas Free Zone Authorities. This agency has consistently submitted its compliance report on time, as, a, as well as ensured that its services are delivered within the timeline stipulated in its service level agreements in a transparent manner. The winning MDA led with a score of 87.36%. Once more, ladies and gentlemen, appreciate Oil and Gas Free Zone Authorities. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you to Mr. Fatai Folari. The next award we'll be presenting is the report.gov.ng award. And this will be presented by Mr. Kule Elebute, Chair, KPMG Africa. A round of applause, please. This award measures MDAs with the strongest performance on report.gov.ng. Report.gov.ng is an app that provides citizens the opportunity to lodge complaints and... The nominees are Nigeria Immigration Service, National Office for Technology Acquisition and Promotion, Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, National Agency for Food and Drug Administration, Bureau for Public Procurement, Trademarks, Patents and Designs Registry, Commercial Law Department. And the winner is Corporate Affairs Commission. Corporate Affairs Commission. The winner was the most active on report.gov.ng for 2018 and is being recognized for its diligence and responsiveness in resolving complaints based on percentage and speed of resolution. This MDA was the only agency that successfully resolved all complaints against it in the year under review and implemented corrective actions to address its most recurring complaints. Congratulations, Corporate Affairs Commission. And thank you to Mr. Kunle Elibute. Thank you. Next award is for the most improved MDA, Homegrown Indicators. And to help us present this, please join me and welcome uh, Mr. Aswe Igodalo, founding partner, Banwo and Igodalo. Please put your hands together for him as he makes his way to the stage. This award is in recognition of the MDA with the highest level of overall performance improvements in 2018 under the Homegrown Reforms Indicator category. The nominees are Corporate Affairs Commission, Nigerian Immigration Service, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, and Nigerian, Nigeria Customs Service. And um, the winner is the National Office of Technology Acquisition and Promotion, NOTAP. Congratulations to NOTAP. The winner, NOTAP, National Office for Technology Acquisition and Promotion, is the only agency with updated guidelines that were developed in conjunction with its stakeholders working to drive interagency collaboration between other MDAs to truly bring to life the One Government Directive in Executive Order 1 under its committed leadership. It is now the fi in the final phase of the rollout of digital registration platform for all its services. Congratulations to NOTAP. And thank you, Mr. Aswe Godalo. And that brings us to the end of the first award category. We go on very quickly to the second award category. Now, may we crave your indulgence as we call on the nominees to please appreciate them by giving them a round of applause. As we mentioned earlier on, every single organization, agency, ministry, department, individual that is called out as a nominee is a winner in our books. And so even though they do not take the ultimate prize, we celebrate and award the work they have done in the past year. Thank you very much. Now the Public Sector Special Recognition Award. This category of awards recognizes arms of governments that partnered with the federal government in implementing the ease of doing business intervention for Nigeria in 2018. There are three awardees in this category. Now to present the first award, 
please, let's make welcome the, pres the chair, NBA SBL, in the person of Mr. Sheni Adio, S-A-N. Please let's clap as he comes on stage. Thank you very much. We do appreciate you being such generous audience with your applause. Thank you. And the winner in this category is the Senate. In recognition of, of the 8th National Assembly's passage of the Companies and Allied Matters Bill for repeal and reenactment. Congratulations to the Senate. Congratulations to the Senate. And thank you, sir, for helping us with that, Mr. Shaney, I do SAN. To present our second award in this category, please make welcome the DG of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Oscar Onyema, as he comes to help with present, presenting this award. In recognition of the 8th National Assembly's passage of the Companies and Allied Matters Bill for Repeal and Reenactment, the House of Representatives. Congratulations to the House of Representatives. Keep clapping, ladies and gentlemen. These are your reps. To present our third award in this category, please make very welcome Mr. Dotun Sulaiman, Herbeck member representing the private sector. A round of applause, please, as he comes on stage. Thank you. Mr. Dotun Sulaiman, Herbeck member representing the private sector. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget what I said. You're clapping like you're clapping for your favorite rock star or favorite football star. I want to hear some cheering as well. The Court of Appeal, in recognition of the Court of Appeal's online publication of its judgments for greater accessibility. will be accepted on behalf of the Court of Appeal and ensuring that they receive their award. Thank you very much, Madam. And thank you very much, sir. Moving on to our next award. This is for private sector special recognition. This category of award recognizes private sector supporters of the federal government's ease of doing business intervention in 2018 on legislative reform support. To help us present this award, please welcome Senator Nala, Deputy Majority Leader of, and PEBEC member. Please put your hands together as he makes his way to the stage.
when the recipient of this award is uh, the Nigerian Bar Association, of which I remember. <laughs> Then the National Assembly Business Environment Roundtable, and then the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, and then the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and FMDQ that OTC. If all representatives will make their way to the stage, thank you very much. Now these awardees have been awarded tonight for their support and advocacy at the 8th National Assembly towards the review of the Companies and Allied Matters Repeal and Reenactment Bill 2018 in collaboration with CAC and SEC. The CAMA is a landmark legislation that has been completely overhauled for the first time in 29 years. The CAM bill was recently transmitted to Mr. President for assent and will significantly transform the business climate in Nigeria. Once again, another round of applause, please. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all our recipients. And we still have one or two receiving. Congratulations to the Nigerian Bar Association Section of Business Law, National Assembly Business Environment Roundtable, Nigerian Economic Summit Group, Nigerian Stock Exchange, and FMDQ OTC. All right, so thank you and thank you, Senator. Please put your hands together for all our award much, recipients. Sir. This next award category will be presented by Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. Once more, welcome to the stage, Dr. Inaya Okechuku and Elena, as he comes to the stage to help us with presenting this particular award. Awardees for the Omnibus Bill support are Nigerian Bar Association, Section on Business Law, National Assembly, Business Environment Roundtable, and Nigerian Economic Summit Group. You are all winners. All recipients, please make your way to the stage. Nigerian Bar Association Section of Business Law for their fundamental role in providing technical and legal advisory as well as drafting support on the Omnibus Bill on Business Facilitation, leading a team of 40 law firms on the initiative. The NESG and the NASBA for their support for their support in providing useful feedback from the organization's private sector by hosting a number of stakeholders. Please put your hands together for our award recipients one more time. Congratulations and thank you very much, sir, Dr. O.K. Enalama for presenting the awards. And that brings us to the end of the second sector of the award. As we made a commitment to you at the beginning of this ceremony, we did say we're going to go straight to the point, be sharp, and keep it sweet so that we can all continue to enjoy our evening. And so we move on to the award category three. Now this category of awards is still recognizing private sector supporters of the federal government's ease of doing business intervention in 2018 across two areas, and that's technical support and capacity building support. The first award in this category will be presented by the Honorable Minister, Women Affairs, Hajia Aisha Abubakar. Please put your hands together for her as she makes her way center stage. Private sector special recognition awards. And the awardees for technical support are the Department for International Development, DFID, 
the World Bank Group. Please keep clapping as our awardees make their way to the stage. for providing technical support on the ease of doing business intervention. Thank you very much, Haji Abubakar, and thank you to our Recipients, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for them one more time. This next award in this category will be presented by the Honorable Minister of Budget and National Planning. Please put your hands together for Senator Udoma Udo Udoma. Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm to announce the Private Sector Special Recognition Award and the first awardee for capacity building support is, is, <laughs> is Financial Derivatives Company. Financial Derivatives Company is receiving this award for their support role in carrying out an empirical impact assessment study focusing on reforms which were implemented during the period covering February 2017 to April 2018. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to Financial Derivatives Company. And thank you very much to our Senator, Udoma Udo Udoma. Please put your hands together for them one more time. Now for the awardees for capacity building support, there are three sets of awards. So the next award in this category will be presented by the Governor of Abia State, His Excellency, Dr. Okezie Ikpeazu. A round of applause please for His Excellency. The winners are Alex Legal Arbitrators and Solicitors, Banwo and Ikodalo, Oyewole and Adesino, then Crown Court Attorneys. Alex Legal Arbitrators and, and Solicitors for providing technical support in relation to resolving insolvency reforms in Nigeria, and Banwo and Igodalo, Oyewole and Adeshino, Crown Court Attorneys for providing technical support facilitating by facilitating training sessions for magistrates and other court officials of the Small Claims Court in Lagos and Kano States. Congratulations. Come on, let's hear it for all our awardees. Alex Legal Arbitration Solicitors, Banwe Godalo, Oyewale and Adishino, Crown Court Attorneys.
some of our reform champions. Pebek is grateful. Thank you very much indeed. Don't stop clapping. Don't stop clapping. Things get better when businesses improve, when procedures, reforms, models, business models are changed. And that's what they've all helped us do. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for the last of our awardees and also thank you to our presenter. Moving now to the last award in this category, it will be presented by His Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir El Rufai. Please put your hands together for him as he makes his way to the stage. Final awardees for capacity building support in the private sector special recognition awards are two companies and I would like them to each of them to come up one at a time. Owando Energy Resources. and First Bank of Nigeria, PLC. You're welcome to come straight up, sir. Sirs. Please put your hands together for Wando Energy Resources and First Bank of Nigeria for providing strategic communication support, as well as team building and communications training for the Enabling Business Environment Secretariat team. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. We appreciate you. And thank you, Dr. Jay. We'll release you for a brief moment. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Jay. Before we move to our very last category of our awards, we have only one category left. We want to break the seriousness a little bit. This young man is popular all over Nigeria and he is, I dare say, currently one of our finest comedy exports. Please put your hands together as you make welcome, Kenny Black. Thank you very much, Mr. Ike. Um, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, that's my dad. Um, Your Excellency, State Governors and Deputy President and Represented, members of the National Assembly, my family members, very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I just got back from the States, from Lagos State, and um, if you're meeting me for the first time, I'm an Afghast. My mom is from Mundo State, my dad is from Bogu State. And I'm happy to be here. Um, for those that know me, know that I am Otoloni Kende Peter, popularly known as Kenny Black. Many years ago, until a few years, I actually discovered my real dad. And I'm honored that he's here. So for those that don't know me, I am Kende Oshibanjo. And um, <laughs> Daddy, it's good to see you, sir. We miss you at home. But I'm here now to stay. Yeah, I know you thought I came like this. My clothes is outside, so I'm moving in tonight. And people don't believe that you're my dad. And people don't believe that these are my family members too. So I will crave the injunction to the photographer to please take a family photo of us. So I will stand in front, sir. Then they will take our picture. So I can take it back to Lagos and let them know that I'm also a king in my own lane. So photographers, please work for your balance. At this point... I just want to kneel down in front of them so that they can also pay my school fees. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Are you snapping it? Hope you're not seeing shadows because of my complexion. Thank you, Daddy. Good to see you, Daddy. I'm honored, sir. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, my uncles, for everything you've done. And the winners, thank you, too. Um, I'm honored to be here. I'm really happy. And one thing I like about um, Professor, the Vice President, is the first time I met him was in London, Osaka, London, in Lagos. And 
London is long. Let me know where I go. <laughs> you know, he said to me, he said, Kenny Black, if you continue doing what you're doing, you receive calls from big people. And yes, I received calls from big people. Sam, I have to tell you about those calls. I received a call from one rich man. I don't know why it is, I don't know if it's a law that once you are rich, your voice must be deep. This man called me for a wedding. What I heard was, um, hello. I said, hello, don't shout at me. I said, for what? They said, um, is that Kenny Black? I said, yes, sir. You are shouting. Kenny Black, um, how much do you charge for a wedding? I said, um, for weddings, I do for um, 7 million, 10 million. He said, that's quite on the high side. Can you do for 5 million? I said, sir, if you give me 30 million now, I'll be there for two days. Ladies and gentlemen, the man paid me. I got to the wedding. When I got to the wedding, it was Yinka Ayefele that sang. How many of you know Yinka Ayefele? This man sang. And any wedding this man sings, the MC is always useless. Because the man will sing for eight hours. The MC will turn help man. And once the man sees money, his religion changes. This is what you hear. I get let it be when you get a bus at go. I bare o ke bere ke wa gbajo omo de ile o e ma ku i kale ikute ile o e ma ku i kale alangba ile o e ma ku i kale la pala pa ile o e ma ku i kale na je come into spray um dollars now pastor e e adeboye g o va you are the most high aye fele o you are the most high god come into spray pounds alaja le ko dangote unwo ma fa sala to run shell the man sang, and I end up doing one joke. I did one joke, and the man said to me, Kenny Black, you were super amazing. I'm going to give you extra two million. I said, sir, I can wash clothes. I can sell small jobs. I can do everything. The one man called me. I don't know why people that stays in my area, Ejigo, their voice is very, very high. But actually, I used to stay in Ejigo, but I moved now to Yan Ejigo. It's a gradual process. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man called me, and what I heard was, Hello? I knew there was no money. Hello? I said, Hello. Is that Kenny Black? I said, It's Kenny Black. He says the same thing. Who got Kenny Black? You're very, very nonsense boy. You are letting the way you do your comedy and you put music inside it. Who How much do you charge to MC wedding? Wedding? I said, Sir, for MC, I did for seven million. He said, No, we are paid for the hall. You're not cooking and come. Only emu si, emu si. Remove the emu. How much is only si? I said five million. I said, don't worry. Okay, you come and do it for one, two. I was super amazing. Then I started doing things. I started uncoin events, going for weddings, and I realized that Nigeria is an amazing country where our music industry is getting better. Your Excellency, our music industry is getting better. And I'll crave your indulgence to so please pay attention to me. You can agree with me that the days your I, I wish I was in your, you know, where I was born in the time your years were born, because it was super amazing. The music that you heard then was super amazing. You hear songs like, if you're intelligent, there's a song for you. But if you know this one, please sing. We know that you know these songs. If you're not intelligent, there's a song for you. I like born upon the Sing, forget, don't, I know your excellency is here, but sing, we know you. Oh, yeah, money, ishe, ishe, inye kin she ti won. Ere, 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 oh, yeah, ni, do, do, ati, raisi. What? Your excellency, can you see our people? They actually know the songs. When you want to take your bath? There's a song for you. Oh, yes, Timoreo. So from there, please go home. <laughs> when you're intelligent, this is wait, wonderful song. If you see a lady you'd want to marry, then you say, Ufoma, 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 I want to marry you. When you now see that lady, you now say, If you marry taxi driver, I don't care. Hey, you know that one. Have you taxi driver? After your wedding, yeah, your mama, yeah, your papa. What will happen to you? Life go better. Those were songs. I don't know what happened to my generation. The kind of songs that we write, I don't even understand. How can you wake up in the morning and write, Iye me, comma. Iye me, o, 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 papa, I fin. Iye me, eh, open bracket. I said, they want to go go full stop. How can you spell DBDP, da prada, da prada? How can you spell da prada? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Very annoying. And there's this man I love so much. His name is King Wasi Wainde Mashal. If King Wasi Wainde Mashal comes here to sing for you, he will tell you his own story and forget about the event. You go you start like this. Wedding me. Come and disarago, come and disarago. I see you, but me day. Professor, 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 professor. What me in Amsterdam? Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Amsterdam. Only came up in Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. About what British Airways, about low, little pre. Nibata, I got Professor, what do I let anybody? Walk on Mosileco. Only cock a go, cock a go, cock a go. Only was you, Ilacuilla, illegal official. Only cock a go, money, only kid, money remote control. Adi was in your skin and what is our business? But I love the Awusa people. The Awusa song is always amazing. You know, just let them hear. I went there, she made your anger. Please don't find my tear. When I look my neighbor, I saw what I damn blue by she gave. When I look my neighbor, I saw what I. But he broke one. Ha, they are everywhere. He probably put the song is the simplest. Just one line, you are done. You can use that one line for verse one, verse two. Year one, year two, in the tone. All my fellows and some of my God, they were all blessed be thy name. She more be more wonderful. My fellows, oh my God, oh, blessed be thy name. Now, year verse one. Wonderful, my fellows and some ones. What is the difference? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, Excellency, Mr. Fall, I see you. <laughs> Thank you for everything you do for us. Always amazing. Ladies and Igbo songs, you always see husband and wife. The husband is here. Say, brethren, I am not here alone. I'm here with my husband, but now, KK. But now, KK, are you there? Husband, we answer, yes, I am here. In their mind, they are singing different songs. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, they are singing the same thing, but they will confuse you with the tone. Mama Okoro will take the high notes. Papa Okoro will take the low notes and they confuse the whole place. This is what you hear, Mama Okoro. I was just in my house. I was chicken and naked. Husband. Brother, eh, brother. And you check a naked. Eh, brother. And you check a naked. Mama Okoro. Yesterday, oh, the VP was coming. Oh. When he was coming, eh, well, the VP was coming. Oh. Husband. Yesterday, oh, the VP was coming, oh. Coming, oh, coming, oh, coming, oh. Yesterday, when the VP was coming, oh, he was knocking, cock, cock, cock. The following minute, oh, we had bing, bing, bing. Husband, cock, 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 it was bing, bing, bing. Very amazing. And because, your excellency, sir, it's not like I don't trust the photographer, so. But me, I want to take selfie with the people on the table. I can, I can post that one this night because they might delay. And for the Igbo people, what I did was a joke. Please let me go home in peace. <laughs> uh, let me just go home in peace. <laughs> because I, I love them. Okay, let me do one more of the Igbo people. Igbo people, I'm ready for Igbo today. Igbo people. Oh, bro. You see, Igbo people can quote Bible verse that they know and the one they think they know. We will hear in the book of Psalm, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not, oh, oh, want, oh, oh, want, oh, oh, want, oh, oh, want, oh, oh, want. They will not quote one that they think they know. You will hear in the book of Ezekiah, Ezekiah chapter 4, they are forgotten. Hey, wait, chapter 4. Mm, mm, mm. I went to the north, I saw chapter 4. I went to the east and top 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 four. Anywhere you go, top top four. When I say Ezekiel, you will say top top four. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, what is in chapter four? Yelling, yelling, yelling. And the anointing about them again is that they sing the robot songs they don't know. The robot song, lots of dirty motility. Eh, eh. Ibo people, 
那咋叫寂寞停留？喵。Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kenny Black. Enjoy the rest of the night.、Uh, but before I go, I cannot forget. So, I told them in Lagos that I'm coming home. They didn't know where I was coming. They, but this is home for me. So, I want to do a video. I'm going to ask everybody here, what's my name? And you guys will say Kenny Black. Like, look at our family members. We stay in the same house. So, I need to show them in Lagos that I came here. And because, sir, I'm honored, sir, for bringing me here today, sir. I know you thought I'm going tomorrow, sir. I'm yet to the kingdom come. <laughs> and your excellencies, very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask, and、um, you know, I was performing. For those of you watching this, I was performing, and the vice president and everybody said, Kenny Black, you know, put us on your Instagram. Let us, you know. <laughs> yes.、Yeah, so, let us know. Let us, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, what's my name? What's my name? We are the presidential villa. What's my name? Adam Blow! Kenny Black. Oh, please put your hands together for Kenny Black. Well, that was、uh, Kenny Black, one of the、uh, youths performing wonders in Nigeria, making Nigeria proud. And this is just the essence of the whole program, creating. An environment that is good, conducive for everyone to display its all potential. History of vice presidents in all of Africa. He is the hardest working. Please put your hands together as you make welcome the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, S A N G C O N. Keep clapping until he gets to the stage. He will be helping us with presenting our last set of awards. It's good to have you with us, Your Excellency.、And、thank, thank you, you much, for、sir. the PEBEC initiatives. All right, our first category will be the Integrity Awards. Now, this award is in recognition of distinguished civil servants. Who have demonstrated exemplary diligence and the highest levels of integrity? And the winner is Mr. Omotayo Omoni, who will be joined by his wife. Mr. Omotayo Omoni. The winner of this award is a screening officer with Fan Aviation Security in Lagos, who returned a very large sum of money and valuables untouched, which he discovered in the airport car park in June 2018. His exemplary behaviour is an, as a Nigerian is truly inspirational and worthy of celebration. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, he deserves to be celebrated. A round of applause, please, for Mr. Omotayo Omoni and his wife. A true Nigerian, a true Nigerian that exemplifies the best of us and the best qualities out there. Well done, sir. We appreciate you. Next will be the special recognition award for sustained implementation support.、Uh, this category of awards. Recognizes private sector supporters of the federal government's ease of doing business intervention in 2018 through the provision of direct technical support to the enabling business environment secretariat over an extended period of time. The awardees are Bangwo and Igodalo. We will receive Bangwo and Igodalo first. For embedding a partner, Mrs. Toyin Bashir, who, has,、uh, who serves as the head of the Ibis Legal Cluster, leading all legal reforms, which include starting a business, enforcing contracts, resolving insolvency, protecting minority investors, and legislative reforms, particularly on the CAM Bill and the Omnibus Bill. Mrs. Bashir has been a key member of the Ibis team since October 2016. Congratulations to her. And congratulations to Bangwo Igodalo for doing a fantastic job in putting her in place. Congratulations, Bangwo Igodalo! Please put your hands together for them one more time. I believe this is their third or fourth time on stage tonight. Powerful company, without a doubt.
Don't get tired of appreciating our awardees as they make their way back to their chairs. KPMG Nigeria. KPMG Nigeria. KPMG Nigeria for embedding a senior consultant, David Uzosike, who serves as reform lead on paying taxes, getting electricity, entry and exit of people, and Executive Order 1. Indicators in both Lagos and Kano states, Mr. Uzosike has been a key member of the EBIS team since October 2016. Thank you very much, KPMG Nigeria. Congratulations, KPMG Nigeria, and thank you very much for the work you've done. Okay. Procter and Gamble, Nigeria. Procter and Gamble, Nigeria. Congratulations to Procter and Gamble, Nigeria. For embedding a senior consultant, Mr. Jude Obo, who serves as a reform lead on the Training Across Borders Indicator. Mr. Obo has been a key member of the EBIS team since July 2017. Let's hear it one more time for Procter and Gamble, Nigeria. Congratulations once more, Procter & Gamble, Nigeria. Please put your hands together for them as they make their way back to their seats. Deloitte, Nigeria. Deloitte, Nigeria. Let's hear it for Deloitte, Nigeria. They embedded two senior consultants, Mr. Noah Osuo, who serves as reform leads on paying taxes and executive order one, and Ms. Olajumoke Pukwola, who serves as reform lead on trading within Nigeria, indicators respectively. They have both been key members of the EBIS team since January 2018. Let's hear it for Deloitte Nigeria's great works. Congratulations, Deloitte, Nigeria. Thou shalt not lobby the vice president with this opportunity. Aluko and Oyebodi. Aluko and Oyebodi. Congratulations, Aluko and Oyebodi. They embedded a senior associate, Ms. Rebecca Dokung, who serves as a reform lead and legal cluster to include starting a business, enforcing contract indicators in both Lagos and Kano states. Ms. Dokung is a key member of the EBIS team since September 2017 and was with them till August 2018. Congratulations, Aluko and Oyebode. We appreciate you. The next set of awards is for the World Bank Doing Business 2019 Ranking Awards. And we have the privilege of His Excellency, the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, SAN, GCON, to present the awards. Now, this award is to recognize the MBAs that delivered reforms for Nigeria on the 2019 World Bank Doing Business Ranking released on October 31, 2018, which improved the score for Nigeria on the 2019 World Bank Doing Business Index. They have been instrumental in impacting Nigeria's business environment by leveraging automation to enhance our competitiveness under the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan. And the top performers, the top reformers are Federal Indian Revenue Service for paying taxes. Federal Inland Revenue Service. Our paying taxes indicator recorded a 14-step upward movement in the doing business rankings. 
This achievement was largely due to FIRS's effort towards making it easier for taxpayers to file and pay taxes via an efficient online platform. The executive chairman appointed Dr. Zainab Gobur as reform champion of FIRS to drive the implementation and adoption of the ETAS platform, and she has continued to exercise this role with utmost diligence and commitment along with her colleagues. Again, a round of applause for Federal Inland Revenue Service. Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, for starting a business, and Federal Inland Revenue Service again, for starting a business. So Corporate Affairs Commission and the FIRS, top reformers for starting a business. Our starting a business indicator recorded a 10-step upward movement in the doing business rankings. The CAC improved the performance and efficiency of its online registration platform to make it easier and faster to register new companies. The FRS also delivered reforms under this indicator by introducing an online platform to pay stamp duties. Mr. Peter Daji, the head of ICT at the Commission, is the reform champion of the CAC who led the team in implementing the reforms which improved Nigeria's ranking on the starting a business indicator. Congratulations, Corporate Affairs Commission and FIRS. Nigeria Customs Service, Nigeria Ports Authority, and Nigeria Shippers Council for trading across borders. Nigeria Customs Service, Nigeria Ports Authority, and Nigeria Shippers Council for trading across borders. Our trading across borders indicator moved upwards on the World Bank Doing Business Index for reforms delivered in 2018. This was achieved due to the implementation of joint inspections, the NIICIS2 electronic system, and around-the-clock operations at Apapa Ports. Deputy Controller Anthony Ayalogu of the Nigeria Customers, Customs Service, NCS, Mrs. Caroline Ufere, retired of the Nigeria Port Authority, and Ms. Adora Nwono of the Nigeria Shippers Council were appointed as reform champions and continue to drive these reforms to perform increasingly better across several agencies. Congratulations.
Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NAC, for getting electricity. Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission. Getting electricity was made easier by requiring that the distribution companies obtain the right of way on behalf of the customers and by turning on the electricity once the meter is installed. NERC also ensured that the time frame for new connections to the grid for maximum demand customers drastically reduced to an average of 30 days end to end. Dr. Chikewerem Obi was appointed as the reform champion for NEC to drive these reforms and he has continued to perform an exemplary role in this regard along with his colleagues. Congratulations, NEC. And of course, we can hear the rousing appreciation from the crowd. A round of applause, please, for Nick. If you want power, you better encourage them. <laughs> Lagos State Judiciary for enforcing contracts. Lagos State Judiciary. The Chief Judge of Lagos State, Honorable Justice Okbayemioke, spearheaded the establishment of a small claims court in Lagos State on April 23, 2018, the first of its kind in Nigeria. Fifteen magistrate courts were immediately designated as small claims courts in Lagos, and the courts have so far delivered judgments in over 400 cases within a 60-day timeline. The successful implementation of this reform led to an improvement of Nigeria's ranking on the enforcing contracts indicator. Honorable Justice Yetunde Adesoya was appointed as the reform champion for the Lagos State Judiciary and continues to exercise this role with utmost diligence and commitment along with her committee. Congratulations to the Lagos State Judiciary. Congratulations to the Lagos State Judiciary for enforcing contracts. Business is nothing without contracts being enforced or enforceable. So we thank you for advancing our nation in your own field. This last category, ladies and gentlemen, is very dear to our hearts. As you know, the federal government can have as many good intentions as it wants. If the state governments don't do anything to further that intention or those intentions, we don't go far as a nation. So we appreciate these states that will be called up by His Excellency uh, for the efforts they have put in to fall in line with all the public initiatives uh, and lift our status with the World Bank. This particular category is for the World Bank 2018 Sub-National Ranking Award. These awards are in recognition of the top five performing states of the 2018 World Bank Subnational Index, which measures how well state governments, laws, and regulations are designed for efficiency, transparency, accessibility, and forcibility in courts and easy implementation. Five states were recognized by the World Bank for advancing the most towards the frontier of global good practices. And the top five most reformed states in Nigeria for 2018 are in Anambra State, Anambra State improved its score from 47 
to 53.5 by making it easier to start a business and to register property in the state. Congratulations, Anambra State. We are proud of you. Anambra State, we see you. We appreciate you. Reform champion there joining us on stage. Reform champions, please put your hands together for our number of state. This is what's going to lift our status, the World Bank rankings. Put your hands together for our awardees, ladies and gentlemen. Moving on. Abia State. Abia State. Congratulations, Abia State. Abia State improved its score from 46 to 53.9 by making it easier to start a business and to register property in the state. Congratulations, Abia State. You guys are the champions of this reform that we're speaking of. African reform champions, we appreciate you. Abia State. Congratulations, Abia State. We're coming to your state to start businesses and to register property. Thank you. Lagos State. Let's hear it for Lagos. Lagos improved its score from 48 to 54.9 by making it easier to start a business and register property and obtain construction permits in the state making Lagos one of the top three of the five most reformed states in Nigeria for 2018. Let's hear it for Lagos State. Well done, Lagos State. Enugu State. Enugu State. Please put those hands together properly for Enugu State. It improved its score from 47 to 56.82, making it easier to start a business, register property, as well as enforce contracts in the state. These reform champions have done excellent work in moving the state forward and also lifting Nigeria's status with the World Bank 2018 sub-national ranking. Let's hear it for Enugu State. Number one state for reforms, Kaduna State. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no small feat. All the states that we have mentioned have only just hit at best 56.82%, but Kaduna State was already at 55%, but they went further. Even though they were relatively already successful, moved from 55 to 65.97, making it easier to start a business, register property, and obtain construction permits in the state. Kaduna State has been leading the charge and continues to lead the charge in this wise. Please, let's hear it for them as they top the list of the top five states in Nigeria in the World Bank 2018 Sub-National Ranking Awards. Well done. Kaduna State. Well done to her governor. Come on, don't stop clapping. If you're not clapping, we'll take it to me. You are envious. Having two minutes left to complete our one hour, 30 minutes. I think we've done a decent job. We would like to invite His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, to 
S-A-N, G-C-O-N, to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, even though he's been on stage and you've been seeing him, please put your hands together properly for him. Your Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, Madam Nasir Erufai. Your Excellency, the Governor of Abia State, Mr. Okezie Ikpeazu, the Honorable Justice Bordero Zviva, Justice of the Supreme Court, representing the Chief Justice of Nigeria, the Deputy Governor of Enugu State, Her Excellency Mrs. Cecilia Izelo, the Deputy Governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Dr. Nkem Okeke, Distinguished Senator Bala Ibn Naala, and other members of the National Assembly here present. The Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Okechuku Enelama, and all other members of the Federal Executive Council present, heads of government agencies and parastatals, captains of industry, your excellencies of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it really is a pleasure to be here this evening to celebrate the phenomenal successes of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, and especially the reforms, but more importantly to recognize some of those who made it all possible, our incredibly selfless and committed private sector partners, and the sterling performance of many in the public sector. In the past three years, Nigeria has implemented more than 140 reforms to make doing business in Nigeria easier. Some of the successful reforms include the ability to reserve a business name within four hours, complete the registration of a company within 24 hours online, apply for and receive approval of a visa on arrival electronically within 48 hours, file and pay for taxes online, access to specialized small claims commercial courts in both Lagos and Kano states. The World Bank also reported in 2018 that 32 states of Nigeria improved their ease of doing business environment, led by Kaduna State, Enugu State, Abia, Lagos, and Anambra. In 2019, Perbeck set a goal to move Nigeria to the top 100 in the 2020 World Bank Doing Business Index. To achieve this, we'll be pursuing the continued implementation of reforms across all indicators, including the implementation of legislative reforms, specifically the signing into law of the new Companies and Allied Matters Act and the omnibus bills that we've heard about already. The expansion of the regulatory reform program, which started with NAFDAQ and NICOM, now to include other regulators. The establishment of a national trading platform for ports and the concession of our major international airports. PEPEC has now commenced the fourth 60-day national action plan, which we simply describe as NAP 4.0 on ease of doing business. NAP 4.0 is running from the 1st of March to the 29th of April 2019. It aims to deepen the reforms delivered over the past three years and to drive institutionalization of the whole reform process. We have highlighted key action items in all of the focus areas to ensure that they do not unravel and to ensure that we drive sustainability. Some of the targets achieved in the last NAP 3.0 include driving registration for utilization of the National Collateral Registry to facilitate access to credit for SMEs, clearance of all pending NAFDAQ registration applications to improve efficiency, and the creation of a strengthened single joint cargo examination interface in all airports and seaports for import and export to reduce the time spent at the ports. NAP 4.0 will focus on initiatives such as enforcing compliance with SLAs across all indicator areas, 
driving the passage of the CAM Bill 2018 for improved effectiveness of company law in Nigeria. And as we've heard, what we're waiting for is a signing into law. Enhancing efficiency in the small claims court and enhancing the application and approval of visas on arrival, to mention a few. The council will continue to work extensively with all MDAs, the National Assembly, and other key stakeholders. All of us who have been involved in this incredible journey will agree that it has been both exciting and fulfilling, even if admittedly sometimes frustrating. But this is the way of progress. And I congratulate you all for all the great successes and thank you for keeping faith with our joint vision. In particular, we must commend the National Assembly for the great effort they, they made in ensuring the passage of very strategic and important bills. We must also commend our private sector partners who have contributed immensely to the technical output of, the EB, of, of EBIS through the secondment of professional staff to our secretariat. Let me especially mention KPMG Professional Services, Deloitte, Procter & Gamble, Banwo and Igodalo, Aluko and everybody. And the MBA SBL was also particularly instrumental in drafting of the Omnibus Bill. About 40 law firms worked pro bono towards this effort. Our nation is truly grateful to you all. We must also especially commend the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Oke Enilama, for his focused and forthright leadership and the incomparable and tireless Senior Special Assistant to the President on Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale and her team. To the rest of us, I think we have demonstrated that the work of creating a world-class environment for commerce will be done by like minds in the Nigeria private sector and public sectors. And these are the exceptional ladies and gentlemen, such as yourselves, who form the Pebeck family. Well done, everyone. Well done to you all. Thank you. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep clapping for His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Ashibajo, S-A-N-G-C-O-N. I want to thank you all for being, you may take up your seats. Thank you. I want to thank you for being so patient and helping us with expediting the evening's activities. We appreciate you all. Thank you very much indeed. We couldn't have achieved such success without your cooperation. We're grateful. Now, to give us a vote of thanks for this evening, we'd like to make welcome the head legal cluster, EBIS, that's the Enabling Business Environment Secretariat, in the person of Mrs. Toyin Bashir. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, SAN, GCON, with your kind permission, sir, I wish to stand on existing protocol in the interest of time. Your Excellency, we would like to first and foremost thank you for your continued commitment to the ease of doing business project. From our interactions with reformers around the world, the common denominator has been that you can never really succeed on this project without having commitment from the highest level of government. We have enjoyed this, and what we see today are the progressive results of your commitment to this project. We would also like to thank the Vice Chairman of PEBEC, Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Oke Enalama, for his continued availability and commitment to this project together with all PEBEC Council members, to all our collaborators and partners here present, both at the federal and state level, we thank you most sincerely for believing in this project. To all our distinguished invited guests, 
We thank you for making time out to be here today. Your presence is a testimony really that this project is very important to the growth and development of our dear country. And um, we really appreciate your attendance at this event. We would also use this opportunity to thank the EBS members, my colleagues at the EBS Secretariat, for their efforts and drive. And um, I wish to please seek the kind permission of His Excellency in inviting the EBS team to the stage to take recognition for all the hard work that has gone on on this project so far. Just a small team, but a very committed team. Your Excellency, we also request for your kind presence with the Ibis team. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. These are a very young team of Nigerians that have delivered a lot of hard work for the reforms, working with colleagues and MDAs and across state lines. Median age is 35 and below. Please appreciate my team. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations to the EBS team. A round of applause, please, for these amazing team. They've worked tirelessly through the year and to produce such a fantastic event to celebrate and honor their partners, their friends, and organizations, MDAs have supported their work throughout 2018 and hopefully beyond. Let's hear it for the EBS team, organized, very, very organized and thriving in their endeavors. Well done. Well done. We are all proud of you. Yes, we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you may take up your seats. Um, after this, we will get out of here and allow you to enjoy each other's company. You, are, you will be staying as long as you would like to stay. We've met our mark in terms of keeping to the time frame. SSS has been looking at me anyhow. <laughs> Uh, we've, we've, we've kept to the time frame, so I think we still have careers. I was going to say, IK, that means that we're definitely coming back again to host an event at the State House. I think so. I think so. Thank I you think very so. much. Thank you so much for having us. It's been an absolute honor serving as your MCs. Um, dinner is available and it will be buffet, not plated, so you'll be asked to go to your table to different points. We have five service points, more than enough food for everyone. Our protocol officers will direct you according to table so that we don't keep you standing for too long. Thank you very much. Enjoy each other's company. Have a lovely evening. Good evening. I wasn't sure if he was going to dinner or leaving. Ladies and gentlemen, it is protocol for the national anthem before the departure of His Excellency, the Vice President. If we could stop all movement in the hall for just a brief moment, we'll allow you to get to dinner shortly. The national anthem, please.
success in its pursuit of impact and aspires to place Nigeria in the top 100 countries on the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index by 2020 and the, in the top 50 by 2025. From all indications and as revealed by PEBEC, the nation is making good progress towards achieving this. Well, we say congratulations to the award winners and we say thank you for staying with us, your darling station, the NTA, the largest television network in Africa. Once again, my name is Jude Onifade and on behalf of the management and the outside in broadcasting, outside broadcasting crew, we say thanks and good night. <laughs>